Oh boy. Got it. Moving. Moving out. Get all our freaking snipers up here. Start that. Placing explosive. I'm really not sure what that's going to do for us, but we're doing it. That's cool. Kind of want to remote start that. These any advantage? Shredded its armor, but didn't do as much as I was hoping. This is not good. I see the path. Your overconfidence will be your undoing, Templar. I didn't make it through. Didn't fucking kill him. I'm going to move them instead of doing parry in that situation. Although it might have reflected it, but there was too many guys around. Don't be a grenade. Of course. What will you do when they can no longer Of course. Of course! God, this game is garbage. I know that each loss is a great blow. Fucking critical immediately. Fuck this game, seriously. I had expected so What the actual fuck? Stupid. Oh, I finally got a crit. Wait, but what? What? We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? That's fucking awesome. Better parry or yep, good. I'm under fire. Always oh, got fire on him. Oh no. My suffering increases. Jeez. They haven't Your missed. They haven't missed every once. They would strike from the side. <laughs> what the fuck? And it got to go? Fuck this game. My god. 
It ran all that way, went through a mini cutscene, and then attacked. Oh no, the assassin showed up. Okay, I can accept that. As much shitty as that was. Dead, dead, dead. Why not? It doesn't matter. She's immune to fucking bullshit anyway. I go where I'm needed. Don't fucking care. Nope. Oh my gosh. I've never seen it that low. Never commit to strike unless you are truly ready. You were created for this very purpose. Oh, now saw me. Lovely. He's gonna come hobble on over there and punch her in the teeth, isn't he? Ew, he's got a scrotum hanging out. This just is ridiculous. I can't the, um, believe the amount of bad luck that I've had in this play. Commander, we can't afford to take losses like this. The objective isn't worth the lives of our remaining troops. I'd recommend we abort while we still can. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. Boom. <sighs> Just didn't like that particular piece of wall. Wow. This area was fucked up. Look how far that thing that you think wouldn't be able to move very much can move so far. Oh. Yep. Oh, she didn't die. Oh, she's, she dazed, though. You, you didn't have to. You dazed her. You could have just finished her off. How are you guys screaming when you're knocked out or dead? <laughs> you can't hit me when she's dazed, apparently. My people have better chance to fucking dodge when they can't even defend themselves than the rest of the game. It's ridiculous. See what I mean? Higher ground with half cover and she dies. This game does not feel nearly as balanced as the vanilla version. It feels like either I'm just getting really shitty luck or they actually give a handicap the to the AI. Where is she running? Look at this bug. What the fuck was that? She pulled a flash and ran across the world and came back and killed me. <laughs> okay. That was, uh, that was a little wild. And so the elders bless us with yet Shut another up. victory. We are humbled. Taking one more step towards. My people would rather die fighting than starving in a shack somewhere. 
No regrets, Commander. No you regrets. Bound to face difficult operations over the course of our campaign, Commander. But there is little room for these ongoing setbacks. All right, I want to know what happens when the Avatar project goes off. Communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We're picking so we're just going to skip through until that elders warlock actively pops off in this region. Commander, nice. the aliens are still moving forward on the there Avatar it is. project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. I don't care. Oh my god, stop. Your response to this defeat will be a true test of your character. How will you contend with such a challenge? I hate to ask, but it looks like I don't have much choice. Think you can help us out? Nope. Commander, resistance forces in this nope. region are in hiding as a result of recent setbacks. Oh, what's that do? If you wish to contact them again. You will have to wait until they are able to regroup. I take oh. no satisfaction in battle with those who do not know it and would not seek it. But I am beholden to my master's Oh no. Will, I'm going to be mad. I don't care. Gains health when nearby enemies take damage. That's gross. With the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before Go they away. hit again. Got an urgent communication coming in I don't for you now. Fucking While Go I away. recognize that you've been placed in a difficult I don't situation, care. Commander. Our continued failings I'm gonna see the, the world end. Month have left many in the resistance concerned. Nothing short nope. of a fast improvement will do. Nope. Me. No. Nope. Me. There we go. That that shut him up. Loyal citizens, I stand before you truly humbled. So many lives lost, so many needless sacrifices endured as we have struggled to cope with those who would see our great coalition fall. Today our struggle ends. XCOM is no more. Advent peacekeepers have reduced the last of their strongholds to ashes. And with it, the fragmented remains of the old world are finally washed away. Thank you for your continued support. And thank you to the elders for their guidance through this crisis. Long live Advent. Long oh, live. That Avatar project was uh, far less cool than uh, the first XCOM's one. Jeez. Jeez. Nasty, go away. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Well, we're gonna let the credits play out because I don't think we're gonna be coming back to this for a while. And if we do come back, I'll probably turn it on easy because I just want to see the end. I don't even know if I want to see the end. I think about it. I don't even care about the Chosen. I just end up running around and they keep coming back. It's so annoying. But the Templars were cool. I like them. Seems like a lot of broken units are in this DLC. I don't know, maybe people were like, it's not hard enough. So that's what they did in the DLC. They uh, sacrificed the fun for the stupid factor. And it felt like the AI cheated a lot, for sure. But we're gonna let these play out. Hi, Doggo. What are you doing? You ready for dinners? It is midnight. But, uh, hope you guys had fun, even though I got super salty. Game, uh, had my number on it. Hi. Hi, Doggo. What are you doing? But uh, I wanna give you a shout out to Yuri and Fragger for those resubs. Also, Yuri, for those bits, I appreciate it. Also, looks like we got a YouTube subscriber today. Fallout 2 forever. Uh, thank you guys for the continued support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm glad you guys are sticking around, and I'm glad you guys are hanging out with all the weird shenanigans we put up with. Look forward to a 
new Twitter poll to see what kind of game we'll play next. I'm not sure what's going to go on there, but if you're not following me on Twitter, do that. And uh, you can vote. Helps uh, give you guys the chance to s tell me what you want to see. I don't know how long these credits are. Woo! Yawning. I still have to upload some YouTube stuff after this, so I'm going to be up for a little bit. But maybe we'll just uh, hang out here and pet the doggos. Something like that. What's next? Not sure. That's what the, we're going to do a vote for. I know. I think I'm going to put uh, Mad Max on the poll. I'm not sure what else after that. I just have to look through my list of things. Uh, Darkest Dungeon. Woo. Excuse me. It was on my list, but uh, I decided to do XCOM. So we'll we'll put off Darkest Dungeon again because it's it's a similar thing where we could do a subs get named characters and stuff, but it's also very hard and they changed that whole game. So I'll, it'll be blind for me, but that'll be fun. Not sure what else I'd throw up. Maybe we will throw up something like old school, like an old school Zelda or a Sega game. That sounds fun. I haven't played one of those for a while. Something goofy, switch it up. Probably get zero viewers besides, you know, the crew here. But uh, that'd be interesting. Super Mario 3. Actually, that's the Super Mario that I hate. The one with the, the raccoon tail. I don't know. It looks it looks like a knockoff Super uh, Mario game. Yeah. You love that one? I don't know why. I've always thought it because, like, the style is different than the ones I grew up on. So I just, like, I'm like, ugh, this looks like a knockoff Mario. Two was basically a knockoff. I like uh, Super Mario World. That one's my favorite. I do have that one. Um, that's on my list to play sometime. Uh, just to go live some childhood experience. Actually, I need to check if I actually have that one on the list. I know I own it, but I keep finding my old games. Like, I, I thought about Diablo and Diablo 2. I was like, holy crap, that needs to get added to the list. Love those games. I actually never beat Diablo or Diablo 2. I remember uh, I played a lot of Diablo, and then I found out there was a Diablo 2, so I was like, holy crap, and I bought that. And then me and my brother just played the crap out of that, and we found a an exploit where <laughs> you trade your gems, and then I think this is how it works. You change your gems, and then you log out, and we just duplicate them. So we just got super perfects of everything, and then we found a, a system that actually allowed you to max out all stats for your characters. I never did that one. My brother liked doing that. Like try a new character, max out all their stats, and just go run around killing everything. That was a fun game. But those ones could be uh, fun to play. Any of those old school ones. My old PlayStation games. Uh, Disc Gaia. That was a game I was thinking about putting up. That's a RPG. Uh, kind of like a Final Fantasy. And I've never played it. I've heard amazing things about it. Um, and it looks kind of fun. And it's, I think, I haven't played anything like it on the channel yet, so that could be fun. But, uh, what else? Ow, doggo. I got you, Roger Bailey. Ouch. Uh, we're going to be playing Divinity Original Sin 2 here at the beginning of the next month, uh, around the 3rd. Let's see. Um... Why are you punching me? Dog, dog, dog. Yeah, um, because they're coming out with a massive update overhaul thing. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So most of it's going to be blind. Thunderstorm warning in the middle of dust storm. Oh, are they like a thunderstorm or is it a electrical storm? I know when a lot of dust kicks up. You get static. Holy crap, these credits are long. Uh, 
I would I've been really wanting to play a, a Nintendo game too, but Nintendo is, a, is such sticklers about any of their games. It's like ah, immediate copyright flag. Blah. It's awful. Yeah, the heat and stuff in the fire messes with the weather. What else could we do? I could open Steam, but it would probably minimize the game and I kind of want these credits to go through. Can play old school Sonic. do Metal Gear Rising. That's something I bought in the last big Steam sale. And I think I've played all the other games that I bought in the last Steam sale. That's the one left. You're doing all sorts of punching, pupper. <laughs> Yawn. Holy crap, these credits. Hey, doggo, I can't use my mouse when you're right there. You got eye boogies. Get them off. Get them off. Get them off. You need a bath. You need a bath. Yeah, I know. And you don't like them. Woo! Yeah, Nin. Push a button and break something, doggo. Oh, I need to check Twitch after this too. We, we disconnected from the internet so many times. There's gonna be like 17 videos up of just one stream. There's so many credits. All right. Nope. You can't minimize it. Dang it. This is like, what, what game was it? Was it Tomb Raider or Doom? It's literally 10 minutes of credits. I remember sitting there through the whole thing. That was brutal. All right, we could have fun reading these names. Adrian Pugue. Piv... Pivlovnian or something. That That's a crazy name. Jessica Hop. Donner. Bob Jones. Ruben Gonzalez. Sounds like a, a sandwich. Cameron Steed. Ibrahim. Or Ibrahim. Interesting. Oh, looks like it's almost done. Jose Minana.
Got her Ryoko. Ayashi. That's actually a cool name. I like Ryoko. I'm gonna have to name a character after Ryoko. At some point. Is this just going through all the international cast? Alright, I need to pay attention to that. French cast. Okay. No, because these are the names of uh, the characters. If it shows up with the... Uh, okay. These are the names of the characters. Maybe it did this for all the tech stuff. Tanja. That's a cool name. There's two of them. Landgraf and Lipinski. Enrique Suarez. Dante Fazio. <laughs> Tim Wynn. Oh, I thought it said worm. Chi Ming Bong. Chi Ming Wong. There it is. David Chung. Oh my god. These are ridiculous. Sunny Han. Yu Tuk Ting. Alright, special thanks. That usually is towards the end. Modus operandi. Doggo. Oh. Oh, that's the first time we've seen him, I think. He's always Warlock Man. Hey, look! It's Leonardo. The flag is all weird. It is. Oof, that game is evil. That felt it's like feels so much significantly harder or more difficult than War of the Chosen. Maybe they implemented like they realized or not War of the Chosen, the, the vanilla version. Maybe they implemented uh they were like, people don't use all these weird tech that we give them, like the pulse grenades and blah 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 blah. So maybe they made it so like you actually need those. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, it is late. I am tired. I need to go to bed. But I need to do some YouTube stuff for the next 20 minutes or so. First, and feed the doggos. Yes, it's your dinner time and it's your favorite time. Oops. I'm clicking things when I'm petting the dog. But thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I appreciate it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. It lets me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more importantly, move this. Remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt those shop, open the full face cam, adopt those shop, donate to your rescue if you can afford it, or probably also awesome, put the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive, this is Jada, that's the moments. Thank you for tuning in to me, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.
Let's go.